Widio Wabbit sounded exactly like my kind of cartoon, and I'm really pleased to say that I really enjoyed it. I didn't think it was perfect, but I definitely liked it quite a lot. This is a 1956 Warner Brothers cartoon. It's directed by Robert McKimson and written by Ted Pierce. And of course, we have Mel Blanc as Bugs Bunny and Arthur Q. Bryan as Elmer Fudd and Dawes Butler voices Bugs Bunny when Bugs is doing an impersonation of somebody. I won't say who because I don't want to spoil it, but there are certainly parodies and imperson uh, uh, impressions here. Impersonations is the word I was trying to say. Um, and I don't want to give away any of them because that's part of the fun of wondering um, what's going to be impersonated next or what's going to be parodied next. The, the premise is quite simple. Bugs Bunny finds an advert for a TV studio that is looking for a, a bunny. And he goes along and realises that he's actually going to be starring in a TV show that Elmer Fudd is hosting about how to capture a real live rabbit. And of course, Bugs Bunny, not being, you know, not being unintelligent, realises that this really isn't the gig for him. So he tries to run away from Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd chases after him all around the TV studio, the corridors, the dressing rooms, the costume rooms, and um, Bugs keeps putting on disguises, impersonating other people, some of whom are um, famous people. I don't know if they all were. There were certainly some that I didn't recognise, but definitely some that I did. And it's a lot of fun. And every time they go through another door, Bugs takes on this different persona and we get to see the TV studio in animated form. I don't think we saw as much animated TV studio as I would have liked because this could have easily been set. I mean, the premise would have been different, but in terms of the animation, the way the rooms were animated, the way things were set up, I feel like it could have been set, I don't know, in a hotel. Um, it just didn't feel quite as TV studio-esque as some other cartoons with a kind of moderately similar premise, but I still enjoyed it. I thought it was good fun. The pacing is brilliant. It gets to the point quite quickly gives us a little bit of time to set up and then the chase begins and Elmer Fudd goes after uh, Bugs. Elmer Fudd at one point also dons a costume. I won't say what it is, but it's the pink costume and I thought he looked adorable and I loved it. So it is generally well animated. What's animated is good. I just feel like, you know, some more TV cameras, um, maybe some more crew members, things to just give it a bit more of an, a TV studio atmosphere would have been really beneficial. But what we got wasn't bad. I like the narrative. I think it worked well. It was developed well. Bugs was brilliant. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It may not have been perfect, but I'd still say Widio Wabbit basically lived up to my expectations. And it's one that I definitely recommend.